The use of trucks, trailers, or drivers contaminated with viruses and bacteria is one of the most common forms of disease transmission between farms or pig production regions. The Transport Biosecurity Program must include segregation of the fleet of vehicles and drivers by health status and risk, rigorous washing, disinfection, and drying procedures of vehicles, biosecure loading and unloading procedures. When we refer to the transport equipment, such as trucks and trailers that will be used for loading, we must take into account all vehicles docking to a PIC multiplier or GTC must originate from a carrier previously approved by PIC. All vehicles and drivers must follow the most current dynamic biosecurity pyramid for the system and flow. Breeding stock trucks, drivers, and trailers must be segregated from market, coal, feeder, or roaster transportation. If a tractor, driver, or trailer are currently hauling non-breeding stock and must be repurposed for breeding stock transport, then it is required that the unit and driver complete a 60 hours downtime and an independent inspection of the decontamination process be completed. The cargo area and equipment used therein must be made of materials that are in good repair and of appropriate design to allow for proper cleaning and disinfection. Pay attention to the measures that drivers must comply with. Biosecurity training will be completed for new drivers at the time of onboarding and repeated annually for all drivers. All drivers must be certified for TQA, Transport Quality Assurance, or a local equivalent. No pets may accompany the driver in any delivery vehicle. Transport employees may not live on premises where pigs are kept or harvested, nor may they live with another person who works with swine. Drivers are required to wear shoe covers when exiting the truck cab at a PIC production unit. Clean rubber overshoes or multiple layers of disposable shoe covers with clean cloth or disposable coveralls must be worn in the cargo area when loading or unloading pigs. Drivers, trucks, and trailers must observe a minimum of 12 hours of downtime, away from livestock and poultry, before loading breeding stock, and a minimum of 60 hours downtime after contact with commercial nurseries, commercial finishers, and terminal markets. How should the transport clean and disinfection process be? Truck washing, disinfection, and drying must occur at PIC HA approved locations in accordance with approved protocols. Truck wash facilities utilizing recycled water are prohibited from washing breeding stock trailers. Drivers should enter the wash bay from the dirty side of the building. The bay must be clean. Washing. Allow vehicle to thaw before washing if necessary. Put on rubber overshoes, coveralls, and any other PPE. Remove and discard any trash from the tractor cab and trailer compartment. Wash brooms, shovels, sort boards, and paddles. When using winter panels, pull open or apart all panels and wash both sides. Scrape and then flush with high volume, low pressure water to remove gross organic material from internal and external surfaces. Use the foamer to apply detergent according to label directions to all interior surfaces. Do not let the detergent dry. Start from the top and proceed down with high pressure hot water to wash the exterior of the trailer and tractor first, then the trailer interior. Disinfection. Remove any pooled residual water. Use the foamer to apply an approved disinfectant to all exterior surfaces first, and then apply to interior surfaces of the cargo area, including any winter panels, ramps, gates, sort boards, brooms, and shovels. Always adhere to disinfectant label instructions. Without entering the cab, vacuum seats, floors, and pedals. Removable floor mats should be taken out and washed. Disinfect the pedals and floor of the cab. Remove overshoes and coveralls worn during washing and place them in a designated location before entering the cab. Clean other cab surfaces, steering wheel, door handles, shifter, dashboard, etc. using a clean cloth with disinfectant. Dry. Remove any pooled residual water or disinfectant using a proper incline or air hose. When weather conditions prevent adequate drying outside, 
Other methods, like inside storage, forced air, or TAD, must be used to ensure the vehicle is completely dry before loading. The biosecurity of a farm is everyone's responsibility. Understanding, respecting, and rigorously performing each of these procedures minimizes the risk to animal health and well-being. Please comply with these good practices.